Salitame and welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to talk about this little bad boy here. My name is Matin Sandler, I'm the founder of Sandler Media, a social media consultancy and content production company based in Zurich, Switzerland. And on this channel I'm talking a lot about social media and all the gadgets, gear and software you need to create content for your social media appearances. And today I want to talk about this bad boy I showed you right in the beginning of the video. This is my Android phone to go. So if you are following me and if you know me and if you're watching also my Instagram stories, I started to tease people with exactly, you know, this move I did in the beginning. And um, people were asking me, dude, are you switching to an Android phone or what? So. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm using iOS devices for almost, for more than 12 years now. And, you know, like also my family is using Apple devices. So we are really comfy in this Apple ecosystem. But Apple, you really could fix the airdrop issues that sometimes occur. Like, I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That, that would be, that would be nice though. But I always was kind of interested what is happening in the Android world. So this is why I um, had the OnePlus One before and also the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Uh, I used those for a couple of months, but then I sold them because like, you know, it, but now since I'm running my company and since I'm teaching also people how to use their mobile devices to create content for their social media um, and since the numbers of Android users has risen uh, lately in Switzerland, I just wanted to know, can an iOS user use the same apps as an Android user? Are there alternatives for Android users? Um, what are the differences in apps? Because I recognize that there are apps outside, especially the editing software, they can do a lot of things on iOS devices, but they can do less things on Android devices. So before I recommend apps and show people how to edit their content on their phone, I wanted to check them out myself. So this is why I got my got, I got a new Android phone, which I'm much more dedicated to use right now because like seriously, I have my iPhone and this Android phone in my pockets. So, so let's let's talk about a little bit more about this phone. Okay, so this is the Mi Mix 3 by the Chinese manufacturer Xiaomi. It has a Super AMOLED 6.4 inch display which is gorgeous, uh, it is really nice to watch videos, especially because there is no notch, right? We have this mechanical pop-up for the selfie camera, so there is no need for a notch and uh, it looks really nice. And in the back you can see a fingerprint reader, there are two cameras, one is a wide-angle lens, one is a telephoto lens, uh, both with 12 megapixels. And uh, yeah, they look a little bit same as the iPhone ones. On the front, like your selfie camera has 24 megapixels. And there's also a two megapixel depth sensor, which is quite nice. And there are a lot of perks um, software wise um, to use the camera, but I will make another video about it. We'll talk about the camera quality. I will compare it with the iPhone XS Max. And I will also show you guys some, you know, software things that are a little bit unusual for not Asian users. So this is also could be uh, really interesting for you guys. So hit the subscribe button to not miss out the video. So there are a lot of different Android phones around, but why did I choose the Mi Mix 3? So to be honest, it is actually because of that. I mean, I think this is such a bold move of a manufacturer in 2019 to have a phone like that. Other manufacturers are trying to get rid of every possible moving part. The more moving parts you have on a device, and it doesn't have to be on a phone, it can also be on a laptop, like it doesn't matter where, the more vulnerable your device gets, right? So, this is why I think this is really bold what uh, Xiaomi did with this one. But to be honest, I'm also a little bit concerned because like there is uh, 
there's a little gap right between the display and the back piece and I think there could be you know you know stuff inside of it right because if I have it in my pocket and I pull it out then you can see actually you know a little bit of dust and things you know in the on the camera um, which is not which is not a huge deal but what if you know this stuff gets much more deeper inside of the phone so I will find out and I will let you know if something major is going to happen but all right so this is why I have this Android phone right now with me um, together with the iOS device and all the people I tease on my Instagram uh, know what the fuzz was all about so yeah that's it basically I hope you liked the video if so then hit the like button it really makes a difference and if you want to see the upcoming comparison video with the iPhone XS Max then uh, hit the subscribe button and yeah we'll see us in the next one vielen herzlichen Dank fürs Zulöge mehr sehen uns beim nächsten Mal ciao zusammen